Well, a South Jersey resident is celebrating her 110th birthday today. She was born before the Titanic was built and when a loaf of bread cost a nickel. So what keeps her going? Our Cleve Ryan attended her party today at a unique senior living community. For some, aging in comfort means aging in your native culture. And for more than 40 Korean seniors in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, there's a carefully crafted community at the Laurel Brook Rehabilitation and Healthcare Center. I found uh, uh, the Korean residents are suffering uh, because of the language barrier, because of the cultural barrier in American nursing home and you know they can even communicate with the uh, caregivers. Here the staff is bilingual. All the food in the Korean wing of the facility is Korean, the leisure activities are Korean, and one woman in particular is thriving at an age few ever reach. For her 110th birthday, Sun Cho from South Korea got a surprise party. I never thought about this kind of a big birthday party. It was very surprised to me. I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. I almost I'm crying. A Korean War survivor, Cho still has a sense of humor, joking to her guests that she doesn't know how she'll pay for her party and telling us through an interpreter her secret to long life is simply being happy. She's just so happy, you know, she's living a long time, you know, that's what she said. For reaching such a milestone, Cho received a proclamation from the mayor and enjoyed a variety of musical performances, including Korean drums, a string performance, and Korean dancing, which she even helped lead. But what birthday party is complete without happy birthday in English and Korean? Hey, Matt Laurel, Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, that sending, is remarkable. That is, that's great. Sending our birthday wishes as well. Definitely. Well, this weekend marks the 